Jasper and welcome back to another video on my channel today I have another creator sim for you another sims 2 to the sims 4 I love doing these this is the third is it the third video that I've made yep I've done the pleasant family and the broke family now I'm bringing you the cap family so I'm going to read you their biography and it says, Juliet Cap has fallen for Romeo, golden child of the rival Monty Khan. Can the Caps set aside their grudge and put Juliet's happiness first? And so it's kind of this uh, Romeo and Juliet vibe going on. Um, it's the Capulets versus the Montagues or the Caps versus the Montes. So first off, we are doing Consort Cap and he is the patriarch of the Cap family in the house of the cat family he um, holds a job as a ceo in the business career and he is incredibly charismatic and logical he has high levels in both of them skills he um lives with his, with his three grandchildren and um he's doing what he can to raise them well and protect them from this feud that is going on so a quick fun fact he's actually not a cap which is crazy um he gave in to matrilineal traditions and took his wife's last name instead and it does appear that when you start the gameplay his wife contessa i hope i'm saying that right contessa um has actually recently died and so he's a little bit like he he appears to be grieving but he doesn't seem to be incredibly phased it must have been like recently but not like that recently so yeah that is consort so next up we have Tybalt and his biography it says outspoken but surely Tybalt is proud to carry the cap name will his pride and hatred of the Montes ruin his sister Juliet's chance for happiness with Romeo so he appears to have been involved in the feud since youth and specifically really really dislikes Mercutio and Romeo um, and in addition to his negative relationships with the Monty family, he actually has negative relationships within his actual family, the Caps. Um, Juliet is included. So he is very, very athletic and he has pretty much maxed out the athletic skill when you first play the game. And funny enough, he doesn't actually have any memory of doing so, which is strange, but he has. And this means that when he gets into fights with whomever, may it be Romeo, may it be Mercutio, may it be Juliet, he will very, very rarely win, which is him all over. He's very stern looking and he's, he's he just looks really angry and beefy, you know? So yes, that is Tybalt. So next we have Hermia. I always want to say Hernia, it's Hermia. Um, her biography it says Hermia is smart but on the shy side she often wonders what rock her brother Tybalt has crawled out from under so she's got quite a balanced personality she's even though she is shy she is mostly interested in politics and the environment she dislikes money health and the paranormal and she seems to not really be following this whole feud as um, she's crushing on two people, Puck, Summer Dream, and Mercutio Monti, who is Tybalt's em enemy. So that's interesting. Also, a little fun fact, um, although she actually has red hair, if you look at her sim DNA, which I don't know how to do, I, I don't know what that means, she's actually a natural blonde. So I don't know what that was all about, nor where she got her blonde hair from, but yes, that's Hermia. <laughs> And finally, we have Juliet. So Juliet loves her family and wants to please them, but her feelings for Romeo are undeniable. Can she make her family proud and make herself happy as well? So she's smart and she's creative. She's got an A grade in school. And although it indicates that she's against the family feud, she's actually enemies with Bianca Monti. And her aspiration in life is to have a big happy family, which actually clashes with Romeo's which is a romance and I'm assuming it's like some sort of serial romantic so their wants are very very different which is interesting and it actually says you might have to change their aspirations if you want their marriage to work out so that's interesting but yes so that is the cat family and that is them in the sins for now I hope you enjoyed this video 
uh, I really enjoyed making it. I love doing these types of videos. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.